Today we're going to be continuing calculating fractions of a mouse. To be successful, you're going to need to work systematically using the phrase split and pick again. You're going to need to use your times tables and division facts and highlight any key information should you need to. So, how can I use the bar model to help me to calculate the whole in this calculation? Yesterday, you were calculating the parts. Today, we're going to be working in a different direction of trying to work backwards in order to calculate the whole. So, one seventh of something equals 112. So this is telling me that I'm trying to find my something. I'm trying to find the whole. But what it is telling me is that one seventh must equal 112. So in my bar model, I've split it into sevenths, and one of these must be 112. I know they're not perfectly equal, but the best I can do. So in order to find the whole thing now, I'm going to take one of these parts, and I'm going to multiply it by 7, because there are 7 sevenths in a whole. So 112 multiplied by 7 is going to give me 784. So my whole... Oh, need the eraser. The holes must be 784. 784. Okay, we're going to use that knowledge now to try and calculate this one. So now I want to find two fifths of something. So again, I'm trying to find the whole thing. Two fifths of the whole is 36 this time. So the difference here is now it's two parts are equaling 36. So in my bar model, I have my two parts here. First of all I split my second row into the five because that's what my denominator is and then in the third row I've then grouped two of them together. So two of those parts now equal 36. So in order to find my whole first thing I need to do is to find one of those parts. So if I know two are 36 and I want to find one I'm going to then divide it by two. 36 divided by two is the 18. So each one of these must be 18. So once I've done that, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did in the last question. I have know one part is 18. I've got five parts in total to make my whole. So to find the whole, I'm going to do 18 times 5, and there's 90. So my whole must be 90. Two-fifths of 90 equals 36. Now to check I'm correct, I could do my calculation as I normally would, yet like yesterday, two-fifths of 90. So I can do 90 divided by 5 gives me 18, and 18 times 2 gives me 36. So I know I must be correct. Your task today, oh, sorry. Your task today, hopefully you have completed the arithmetic warm-up and the two mastery tasks looking at your skill from yesterday. And Today you're going to be finding the whole. So here is another example of how I want you to lay it out in your book. You have the choice of challenge, 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 and challenge, challenge, challenge. I would be expecting you to do the latter half of these questions. I would like you to do six, seven correct ones. So many of you will probably be starting on challenge, challenge. As per normal, all the answers are at the bottom, and I would be expecting the, you to be using bar models in order to help you just as I have shown you.